News at 9 on Peachtree TV. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Rick Fulbaum. And I'm Sean Gables. We begin tonight with the fate of three men accused of killing Ahmaud Arbery, now in the hands of a jury. Deliberations will continue again tomorrow morning. The judge and the case sent the jury home after determining a verdict was not likely imminent tonight. The jury weighing multiple charges for Travis McMichael, Gregory McMichael, and William Roddy Bryan. CBS 46's Zach Summers is live in Brunswick with a look at what happened today and what's expected tomorrow. Zach. Yeah, that 12 person jury deliberated today for more than six hours before the judge sent them home around 630 tonight. They're considering nine charges for each of the three men accused in this case, including murder, aggravated assault and false imprisonment. Day 13 of the trial and the killing of Ahmaud Aubrey started with the state's closing rebuttal. He's not afraid. He moved toward Mr. Aubrey. Lead prosecutor Linda Dunnikoski asked the jury to hold Travis and Gregory McMichaels and William Ronnie Bryan accountable for the murder of 25 year old Arbery in February of 2020. You can't claim self-defense if you are the unjustified initial aggressor. Aubrey's mother, pleased with the prosecution's closing, told reporters she's confident justice will be served for her son. God has brought us this far and he's, and he's not going to fail us now. A 12 person jury of nine white women, two white men and one black man spent more than six hours deliberating the case, which includes crimes that carry life in prison. We just want to be careful that after all this hard work and all the sacrifices these jurors have made, that they get to finish this process without being influenced in any way, one way or another. Meanwhile, as darkness fell, we are waiting to hear the truth. A show of unity outside the courthouse. Clergy and demonstrators gathered, calling for justice and peace as the community waits for a verdict. So we got to continue to fight for justice. We have nothing to lose but our chains. Now, while all three men are facing the same charges, the case against William Bryan, it could differ. He could end up with lesser charges. That's the man that shot the video himself. The jury reconvenes tomorrow morning at 8.30. Live in Brunswick, Zach Summers, CBS 46 News. Zach, thank you.